Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and last time I left you, we were taking a look at the Jazz Miner, just kind of unboxing it, taking a look at the internal stuff like that. And no matter what I do, uh, if you know, if I power it on and everything, I'm connected on you know 220, 240 volt. Uh, it can run. I mean, Rabbit Mining showed that it can run on 110, 120. Technically, uh, it is powered on no problem, and he is able to connect to it. But no matter what I do. It can't be detected whether I'm using my angry IP scanner or the program provided uh, by uh, Jazz Miner. It will always, the normal light will go off, it will go to fault, and it won't do anything and it won't be detected on the network. I am already in contact with support, uh, the Jingle Mining support team via Discord. There it is, fault. Uh, and I just wanted to show, take a quick look at a couple things here. So it's almost like I want to play around and disconnect and reseat everything just to make sure everything is good to go. I mean, if I turn off the light here, let me see if that will hold. Let me turn off the light. You will see we're getting power to, obviously, the main board back here. We're getting power to the hash boards. We got two of them, one there, one there. So we're getting power to everything. I thought it was the ethernet, so I swapped out ethernet cables multiple times. I even tried in my bedroom, but still nothing. Let me go ahead and disconnect everything and reconnect every connector on here and see if that solves it. So the connector up front, that middle one, uh, is supposed to be that far back. It's just a different type of connector than J1 and J2, which are labeled. Uh, I reseated everything, but I did move one of the control uh, board cables from the first and second seat to the third seat. You can see that I moved up one and just basically disconnected everything. All the power cables, the control board cables or cable uh, rib ribbon cables, um, every connector on here. I disconnected it and reseated it. It could have been loose during shipping. I'm not entirely sure, um, but now we're able to see it. Now I could go ahead and set it up. So as far as basic troubleshooting, if you get a device like this, even if it's an ASIC or anything like that, just go through the basics, right? Just like a car only needs air, fuel, spark, a computer or an electronic device only needs a few things. We need to confirm we're getting electricity. We need to make sure that we're getting data or e internet connection. And sometimes a loose connection could just be that simple. Just unplugging, plugging it back in, you know, simple IT problems. You know, is it plugged in? <laughs> but that's pretty much it. So this guy, let me go ahead and set it up and we'll look at a different, we'll set up a different video for uh, the actual configuration and setup of the Jazz Miner. Just wanted to take, take you on a quick trip. And even though it still shows fault, I at least now can see it, configure it and manage it. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Please do me a favor, hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description that help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.